Hello everyone, uh, this is Patu from Free Cal and in this video I'll talk you through how to use the uh, Free Cal Mutual Fund Screener version 7. Now before we begin I want to clarify that I release two types of fund screeners. This is a screener, uh, I what is called as a Free Cal Mutual Fund Screener is just a screener which is based on value research annual returns data and then I process it in this excel sheet that you see. And there's also another screener which is called the Free Cal Mutual Fund Consistency Screener or the monthly uh, consistency screener that is released every month and that is beta, uh, that is uh, based on data um, that I calculate, uh, uh, outperformance consistency and downside protection consistency. So that will be released later on uh, 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 this month. Uh, but this is a mutual fund screener that is based on annual returns from value research. So in order to use this first, you need to log into value research. So uh, you can go into the value research website and click on login. Now recognize that you need to log uh, login via Excel. So copy this login screen and you can, um, I would suggest that you open a new sheet. I have a separate video for this. So I'm not going to take you through all the steps. I'll just show you how to do it. So go to data from web. Uh, the new version of Excel makes it uh, pretty complicated. The older versions is much more simpler to use. So you, you have to paste that login URL here, say, okay, wait for it to connect. And now you click on web view and that will give you the login page. Notice my email address is here, which means I'm already logged in. But uh, when you do it for the first time, you will be able to log in. I'm not able to log out for some reason, so I cannot complete this process, but I have a separate video to show you. So I'm going to cancel this out, get out of the screen, go back here. So unless you log into uh, value research, via the Excel sheet, you will not be able to use the screen. So let's understand what this sc uh, screener is about. There are multiple tabs here. So the first thing is do not touch any of the red ones. Uh, they're all back uh, back end calculations. Please don't touch that. So the first is the inputs. And here you can choose any of the categories, fund categories, the new f categories after the SEBI reclassification. So you can choose that. So I've, ch uh, I have used value oriented. Um, and then this is a reference rank. So you're looking for funds which have, um, which are graded above 15 in terms of ranking, you can change this to 10 or five, depending on what you uh, like, but I would suggest you keep it at 15, which is kind of broad. Don't expect to choose the best fund have, uh, a small basket of funds to choose from and it doesn't matter what you choose uh, from that basket. So now let me click on this. It's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to go to value research for that particular category page. It's going to go there and it's going to pick the uh, annual returns from um, value research for, for the particular category and it's going to process it and it's going to give you the results. Now, after you click, you will be taken to this page called shortlist. So from inputs, you have jumped all the way here to shortlist. So uh, let's just go back here to annual returns. So this is just the annual returns of the funds in the value oriented category. Uh, and these are the star ratings. And uh, now uh, after the classification, the star ratings are important in the sense that the star, if value research has not rated a fund, this means the fund has changed character and you, sh and, uh, you should not worry about the past uh, data. But if there is a rating, you can assume that the, 
even after the sebi classification the fund has not changed too much that value research feels that uh, the classification is uh, i mean the the rating is possible based on the back data so use the rating to uh, as a as a guide to understand when to use past data and when not to so if the rating is zero uh, then uh, then that means that you should not use the uh, back data uh, for that uh, particular fund so uh, use it as a guide so don't uh, believe in this uh, uh, screener which is based on past data too much and make sure that the fund has a rating right and uh, that's important so that's the annual returns this there's nothing to process here except the uh, ju- you 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 just check whether the, there is a rating for the fund or not and in this from the annual returns i calculate uh, 12 year returns 11 year 10 year and so on please recognize i am using annual returns so i'm calculating return um, uh, sorry value research has calculated returns from january 1st to december 31st and given us annual returns from uh, to for 2017 2016 uh, up to 2006 last 12 years so based on those annual returns i am calculating the uh, 12 year cagr 11 year cagr up to 1 year cagr and so on so uh, you should be clear about what that means so th- this data that that is the annual returns from value research will not change it will change only once a year so please recognize that uh this is the return rank uh, there's nothing to process these two are uh, again that they're, they're only back end data but i've just used it because you, i mean i'm just showing it to you because you can understand what it means so uh, the ranking of the uh, of the t- t- 12 year returns from 1 to 8 uh, uh, or 9 or whatever depending on the number of funds and this is the trailing return so this is what you are usually accustomed to see the last one year return based uh, on the uh last business day to one year before last business day to three years uh, before similarly five years and 10 years and so on uh, i have also calculated the one year category median three year five year 10 year category median median uh means you are taking the set of one year data and dividing the distribution into bottom half and top half so median is the uh value that divides the distribution into two parts equal parts so you are looking for a fund uh, say that is in the top half that is above the median so which means it is in the top half of the uh, list so you can use the screener here to uh, if you don't have if you don't see the screener all you need to do is select the columns go to data and just filter and then let's say the category uh, the five year category median is 20.37 so i'm going to choose the five year data here and i'm going to say uh, number filter greater than or equal to 20.37 or you can put 20 it doesn't matter and so that's those are all the funds which have got a five year return above the uh, category median so they are the top half of the distribution so you can also do the same for 10 years and find out funds which are uh, in the top uh, five year and 10 year distribution so you can clear the filter like that so you can play around with this trailing return this is a new feature in 7 it's not available before So let's look at the f- short list. Um so this is the first short list and if you want to understand what this means you can just go uh, to the right of this uh, of the sc- sc- um spreadsheet you will see how to interpret the results. Now I you have given a you have input r- a return rank of 15 in the input sheet you can change that. So we are going to find out how consistent has a fund any fund let's say uh, birla pure value fund uh, secured a rank which is below 15 so it, which means uh, uh, in the top 15 so the secured a rank which is below 15 uh, f- or when you calculate one year return two year return three year return and four year return so each time so if you take sorry if you take birla pure value fund you have data for 9 years so from 1 year 2 year 3 year up to 9 year uh, return is available and for every one of those um, uh, return periods so 1 year return 2 year return 3 year return up to 9 years the fund has always been in the top 15 so consistency is 100% that's what it means so you're looking for funds which are most consistent uh, consistent in terms of the return ranking so that's what this shortlist is there is a second shortlist that tells you 
uh, if you for example again uh, uh, aditya birla pure value fund so if you look at one year two year three year up to nine year data the fund has always been in the top part of the distribution that is its return has been above the category median category means one year ca one year uh, return category two year three year four year up to nine year so there are nine uh, uh, categories and for each of those nine categories the fund has always been in, in the top half of the distribution above the category median so again idfc sterling fund investco counter fund but please recognize uh, uh, don't take this data seriously if the annual returns shows the ranking is zero that means there's no ranking if the that if the uh, ranking is, is zero that means the fund has completely changed uh, nature and you cannot use the uh, screener at all so please be careful about that uh, you should know when to use past data and when not to use past data of course this is a opinion as per value value research whether the fund has changed nature or not uh, is an opinion it's not uh, a mathematical fact so please be careful um, it's uh, subject to debate so those are the two shortlists just the shortlist which tells you the return rank and this is the category median and then what you can do is you can evaluate so you can find the common funds in the two shortlists here and you can choose any of those funds if you just come to this side of the screen uh, okay just before that so these are the common funds the one the white cells in the gray cells i have already pre-populated it with the uh 12 to 1 year CAGR of all index funds and ETFs available. So you can choose any five funds from this drop down. You have to change it. It will give you errors if there are the funds have changed. So you can cho change it and then you can choose any index fund that you want. And then you can check visually how the fund has fared against the index fund. So that gives you a way to uh, analyze returns. So now you can uh, also look at the annual returns of the indices as well as the uh, five funds. And you can find out uh, when the fund is, uh, when the index is down, uh, whether the fund was uh, more negative or less negative than the index. So it gives you a simple way to evaluate uh, downside protection visually. I've not calculated any downside protection here. So this is a simple visual way. So this is a uh, visual representation of uh, nine year, eight year, seven year, six year, five year and so on returns. And this is the visual representation of the annual returns. So this also tells you the um, the downside protection of course this also will tell you the downside protection if there is a negative return uh, but more typically uh, annual returns will be um, uh, negative more often than uh, uh, annualized returns over a period so you can f so i call this as downside protection of course this is not technically downside protection i'm uh, this is a visual way to uh, look at it finally there is another shortlist and in this shortlist you can find out the number of times the fund return was above the category median and the year years for which the annual returns is available so this is a short list you can you can read it off here so this is from the annual return please recognize uh, there are three short lists the plain short list is for the return ranking using CAGRs that is one year two year three year five year six year seven year CAGRs again this is using the same CAGRs but the ca uh, above a category median or not how consistent it is above a category median and the third shortlist is using annual returns and uh, calculating median and finding out whether the fund is above the median uh, annual return or not uh, for each of the uh, last 12 years considered of course depending on how many uh, how, how many years annual uh, return data is available so that's the way you can use the screener Please recognize that this screener uses annual returns data primarily and then I have now included two features. I have used index funds and ETFs and I have also included this trailing returns and also highlighted this annual returns to find out whether you can use the uh, fund or not depending on whether it still has a ranking, the value research ranking. Uh, I'm not asking you to take the value of the rank, uh, ranking or the rating seriously. I'm asking, I'm asking you to find out whether there is a rating or not. 
if there is no rating it means that the fund has completely changed in nature and it's an uh, essentially a new fund you and you you cannot use past data of course that's the opinion of value research and uh, you can't do anything about it so that is uh, how you use this fund screener uh, let me know if you need any features to be added or if you have problems using it thank you bye bye